Welcome and thanks for joining us on Real Investment News for your pre-market open. It is the first day of trading today of the year on Wall Street. U.S. stock futures are mixed in early trading after markets took a slight dip on Friday. We'll keep you posted in your market open. Overnight, the MSCI Asia Pacific Index climbed 0.8% to reach a record high while markets in China started off the years with gains for stocks. It's a different story in Europe where the stock 600 index was 0.6% lower this morning early earlier as the euro traded close to its highest level in three years. S&P 500 futures added 0.1% and the 10-year Treasury yield was at 2.433. More than a dozen people have died in protests in Iran. Bloomberg reports the protests were sparked by a rally over economic conditions that started on December 28th. Unrest in Iran and stagnant U.S. production are helping boost the price of West Texas Intermediate for February, which was trading at $60.32 cents this morning. Taking a look at the tax plan and how it's affecting large corporations, BP is the latest to announce it will be taking a massive hit in the fourth quarter. The company says it will have to write off about $1.5 billion in credits that it had been planning to use to lower its tax bill in the future. CNN reports numerous European banks plus oil giant Shell also indicated that the new tax rules could cost them between $1 billion and $3 billion each in one-off charges. Last week, Goldman Sachs said the new changes would knock $5 billion off of its profit in the final quarter of 2017. But with all of that being said, these same companies say that the lower U.S. corporate tax rate down to 21% from 35% would ultimately be good for business. Well, stay tuned for your market open coming up in just the next hour. We'll see you then.